Hello, how to solve this radical problem? Square root of n power 3 equals square root of 5 power 3. We are solving for all values of n that satisfies this equation. Now, if you have square root of a, this equals a power 1 over 2. So square root of n power 3 will be n power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 2. And this equals square root of 5 power 3 will be 5 power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n, this equals a power n raised to the power of n. So that is exactly what I'm going to do here. The half will come inside, but the 3 will go outside. The half will come inside, and the 3 will go outside. So let's do that immediately. I have m to the power of 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. And this equals 5 to the power of 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. So from here, I can apply this other identity again. If you have a in power 1 over 2, this equals square root of a. So we apply same here and here. I have square root of n raised to the power of 3. And this equals square root of 5 raised to the power of 3. So what we are going to do would be to move this over here and equate everything to zero. I have square root of m with the power of three minus square root of five with the power of three, and this equals zero. So right now, if you have you have power three here. You have power 3 here, you have minus. So if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2. And in this case, a equals root n and b equals root 5. So let's insert it right here. That means we are simply going to have for a minus b, of root n minus root 5, times a squared, that's root n to the power of 2, plus ab, root n times root 5, plus b squared, root 5 to the power of 2, and this equals 0. So from here, I will have root n minus root 5 times this cancel this, I have n, plus this multiply this, I have square root of n times 5, or that is 5n, plus this cancel this, I have 5, and this equals 0. So what we can do is to equate each of these to 0. We have root n minus root 5 equals 0. I have n plus square root of 5n plus 5 equals 0. So let's solve this individual equation. For this one here, I simply move this over here. I have root n equals root 5. This cancel this. I have n equals 5. This is my n1. So we have this other equation. I move this n over here, I move 5 over here. 
I have square root of 5n equals negative 5 minus n. And now, I need to take the squares of both parts of this equation. I have square root of 5n raised to the power of 2. And this equals minus 5 minus n raised to the power of 2. So right now, this cancel this. I have 5n equals negative 5 minus n times negative 5 minus n. So from here, I have 5n equals this times this. That's 25. This times this. Plus 5n, this times this. Plus 5n, this times this. Plus n power 2. So from here, I will have 5n equals 25 plus 5n plus 5n plus 10n plus n power 2. So from here, I move 5n over here, that is 0 equals 25 plus 10n minus 5n plus n power 2. So from here, you have 0 equals 25 plus 10n minus 5n. That is 5n plus n power 2. So let's solve this quadratic equation. We have n squared plus 5n plus 25 equals 0. So we are going to solve this using the formula method. We write the formula in respect to m. n equal negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. That is my a. That is my p. That is my c. n equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 25 divided by 2 a plus 2 times 1. So from here, I have n equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of, this is 25, minus 100, divided by 2. So from here, I have n equals negative 5, plus or minus, this is square root of negative 75, divided by 2. From here, I have n equals negative 5, plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 75 divided by 2. So, this is i. So we have n equals this is negative 5 plus or minus i times square root of 75 divided by 2. So from here, I can express this as negative 5 plus or minus i times square root of 75 is 25 times 3 divided by 2. So from here we have negative 5 plus or minus i times square root of 25, that is 5 root 3, divided by 2. So from here, we can factor 5 over 2, 
times this is negative 1. Well, negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So we now have two complex values for n. We have n2 equals this is 5 over 2 times negative 1 plus i root 3. I have n3 equals 5 over 2. Then we have times negative 1 minus i root 3. So those are the three complex solutions. The two counter complex solutions, we also have one real solution, which is this. Which is m1 equals 5. So if you want to check, it is very simple. You have check. Remember our n1 equals 5. You have square root of 5 to the power of 3 equals square root of 5 to the power of 3. I've just inserted this n1 here. So this will give you square root of 5 over 3, that is 1 to 5. Equals square root of 5 power 3, that is 5 times 5 times 5, that is 1 to 5 again. So from here, you have left hand side equals right hand side. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you can solve this equation. So those are the solutions. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe, share this video to your friends. See you again and drop a like. Thank you.